In this tutorial in Tidler Pro, I'd like to show you how to match the title length between the Tidler Pro program and a program like PowerDirector. What I have is the add-on version of Tidler Pro in PowerDirector. It's version 1.5 of Tidler Pro. And I have created a title for a fictitious car company and placed it on track number one. And everything looks good. If I want to see how long the title is, all I need to do is hover the mouse over it and it assures me in the box at the bottom it is exactly 10 seconds long. Or I can click on duration with its highlighted and that says yes, we have a 10 second title. But I have an issue here. My cursor is at 6 seconds, 29 frames. If I move it one frame farther, it goes blank. There is nothing on the screen from this point until the end of the title. Only when I go back shorter do I actually begin to see the title. What is going on here? Let me show you. The title length is not controlled by PowerDirector. It's controlled by Tidler Pro and the numbers are different. The default size of your title even when you bring it in from Tidler Pro, is set by clicking on the gear at the top and then clicking on the editing option and then looking over here at title. And right now I've set my titles to be 10 seconds, zero frames in length. Now what I can, when I double click on Tidler Pro, I will do that and bring up the edit window and we'll enlarge it so we can follow along a little easier here. If I look at my Tidler Pro window, I notice that my titles happen to be set to 7 seconds. And that number is controlled up here. Now I can take any of the tracks in my title and I can shorten it or lengthen it, but I can't lengthen it beyond the number in the upper right corner. That is the Tidler Pro control over the length of the title. So if I have a mismatch between Tidler Pro and um, PowerDirector, and the PowerDirector is a larger number, what will happen will be that I'll have some empty, some dead space between the end of the title and uh, what I see when I'm looking at my PowerDirector timeline. Now I can go, I can deal with this two ways. I can shorten the PowerDirector length or I can lengthen this. Now, how do we lengthen this when I can't simply stretch the tracks larger? What you need to do is go up into the upper right corner to the this designator. I can change that maybe to, uh, let's change it to around 10 seconds. Press enter. And now you see I have more time in my timeline. Now I have the opportunity to drag any of these tracks. I'll move my uh, playhead here. Now I can drag any of these tracks to a maximum uh, length of my 10 frames. And you can adjust the size of these if you want. So it's set to 10 right now. And so I can modify one or all of the length, lengths of the tracks in my titler and make them larger. I could go, I don't have to go to 10, I could go anything between 0 and 10 and that will help me um, adjust my title. So I can go ahead and play the title and it, notice it will play up to the 10 second mark now. And so this is a, uh, a look at how the title will play it, but it doesn't stop here now. It stops at my new title length, which is 10 seconds. So I'm gonna stop that and um, I'm gonna go back to seven here, zero seven. And now the limit is exactly seven seconds on any component in my title. What I want to do here in, in, uh, in this area here is click on my duration. And in this case, if I like seven, I'm simply reduce this one. I can highlight the number of seconds and click down. And now I will have a match that will work. Click on OK. And now the title should play uh, all the way through the end and I will not have empty space here when it comes to the title. 
It should come in uh, through Tyler Pro. I haven't rendered this, so it may be a bit jerky on this screen. And uh, there we go. And this gives me a look at how to adjust one to the other. Now let me look at, at what, what happens if the length here is shorter than Tyler Pro. Well, let's try it. I'm going to click on my title, change duration. Let's change this down to five seconds. Click on OK. And now let's see what happens. I'll go ahead and hit play. OK, and my car comes in through the transition. And it stays on the screen and we get obviously so this will control the maximum length and it will override Tyler Pro but when I double click on Tyler Pro you notice I still have a seven second title I'm just not using the last two seconds as we look in our edit window in Tyler Pro so it's important to match the title length in Tyler Pro with the title length in PowerDirector or whatever host program you may be using. If you want to understand clearly what's going on and not have something happen, uh, that's going to cause you problems down the road.